hear commitment coverage tonight. Ernie Chambers is back and running for the seat he held for decades in the Nebraska legislature. His decision is already making national headlines tonight. KETV Newswatch 7's Jessica Perez spoke with Chambers about why he wants to come back. Jessica. Chambers tells me he decided to take a break because of his age, but at 86 years old, it still felt like he's mentally and physically sharp. To prove it, he even dropped on the ground and did 20 push-ups in front of me. With 46 years representing District 11, Ernie Chambers is no stranger to the legislature. I'm going to speak on every bill up there today. At 83 years old, he thought he was done. I'd been term limited before. I came back, served eight more years and had to go again. I said, look, you all are unreasonable. I'm in my 80s. On his last day in the unicameral in 2020, colleagues recounted his accomplishments. Senator Chambers is a once in a lifetime kind of policy maker. Now at 86, Chambers says it's time for a comeback. It's becoming a monkey see, monkey do state. Any lame, crack brain notion that takes place in some backward legislature someplace, somebody in Nebraska will offer it as legislation. He says he wants to enact legislation that helps Nebraskans. I'm relentless. I don't get tired. I don't give up. He's running against incumbent Terrell McKinney. Chambers says it's nothing personal. I am running because there are things that I think need to be done, and I believe that I'm able to get some of them done, and I can stop some of the bad things. His supporters agree. He has lots of, of uh, a foothold on Omaha. You can see what he's accomplished. But Precious McKesson with the Nebraskan Democratic Party says it's crucial to recognize what Senator McKinney's done, like bringing hundreds of millions of dollars to North Omaha, saying, quote, the community supports Senator McKinney because he offers us a fresh perspective on how things can keep improving lives in Legislative District 11 and Nebraska as a whole. McKinney says Chambers' decision does not surprise him, saying, quote, I'm focused on the work and representing the people of District 11. We should note there's also a third candidate, Kalandra Cooper. Back to you. Okay, thank you, Jessica.